company loves this production. It's a real favorite of the public as well. It's such a wonderful production. It, it doesn't need tweaking. With this revival, I tried to go back to what John really, uh, the, the way he staged it the first time. In a way, because John was a film director, he had a light touch. What mattered to him was the characters. You know, he was very, extremely skillful, really, without ever imposing too much. He saw the production from a filmic point of view. So you had to be very precise in the characterizations. And during rehearsals, he'd say, would your foot be in that position? Or what are you thinking about him over there? And everything was geared to what we call two and three close-ups. And he kept on going round rehearsals doing that, trying to get a two or a three together. Because he saw it really from the point of view of filming. I was the original movement director, really, with John Schlesinger on the very first production of Hoffman, which we did 36 years ago. And this time around, it's very sweet of them. They said, we're not doing it without you. Well, and Monsieur, then he gets to put on the stool. It's just a little bit late. She knows it like the back of her hand, and she knows exactly the way it should, should look. She's amazing, because also she gets up and she moves around, and she's waltzing and... <laughs> teaching everyone how to move. She's got such, such an eye and such a history. Today, she came up and she brought a note up that she gave me in 1980. And I remember her giving it to me and I'd totally forgotten about it. And we tried it and it worked beautifully. You go like this. She doesn't miss a thing. She doesn't miss a thing at all. It's quite irritating at times, you know. <laughs> because of the level of detail in the production, and it's so sumptuous and it's so gorgeous to look at. I think this is almost the sort of perfect vehicle for cinema. The dress that I wear, you know, is the character. You could sort of stand it on stage alone and people would know who she was, who, you know, what sort of woman could carry off this dress. John liked to prepare very, very carefully. For example, with the chorus, he would look at every photograph of every chorus and give them a character which would then go to the designers and they would dress them accordingly, etc. It was keeping something of the real world going in his pieces. I think that came from being a film director. Ne me plus, yeah. Uh, no, you're going to go right here. Yeah. I see in the present director, I see very much John Schlesinger, that precision in what are you thinking, why are you doing that? Don't just do it, have a reason for doing it. And of course, the production is held together simply because of that. Can you use the piano, but Kate? So, because you're going to the piano. Directing a piece like this is yeah. is you know a I mean? big Everything's monster strong. of a job, and Dan really understands the intentions of what Jay was wanting. He's really studied that. Unless you die in your sleep, you don't close your eyes. People always die with their eyes open. Yeah. It's a great responsibility directing any production that's somebody else's production. But it's an especially great responsibility when it's, it's such a well-loved and successful production as John's production of Tales of Hoffman. See you in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>